Hi, this is uh, Rob at MyQuantumDiscovery.com. Today we're going to take a look at replacing the pressure switch on my SureFlow 4048 fresh water pump. Um, those switches are constantly uh, sparking and that just wears out the contacts. Um, and I believe, fortunately, with this switch is not unique the housing is unique to SureFlow, but it actually uses an industry standard micro switch internally, which only costs about $5 each. So <clears throat> I think I'm going to try to replace the micro switch and um, not have to buy the $30 or $40 part from SureFlow. So this is the pressure switch. And hard to see, but over here, that's the bypass adjustment. There's a little Allen head screw there, and there's also an Allen head screw here to adjust the pressure. So first I'm going to test this. Right now, when I turn the pump switch on, it either doesn't work or it just comes on very sporadically and intermittently. And the way to test it is you can pull these wires off. They're just quick disconnect terminals. Maybe not so quick. And if I short those together, the pump should come on. So I'm going to get a paper clip or something and we'll try that. Okay, so here are the two wires, or the two connections that go to the uh, pressure switch. Um, there's no polarity involved with this. This just switches the positive 12 volts either on or off. So when you put these on the switch, you don't have to worry about polarity. It's just a matter of which length wire fits better uh, between the two terminals. In any case, you want to make sure the pump is turned on. And then I, I just found a piece of wire. I'm going to just, all I'm looking for here is see if the pump comes on. Yep. So it works fine. And when this, these, again, when these wires are hooked up to the pressure switch on the pump and I turn the power on, either nothing happens or I get a little very intermittent cap, uh, function. So um, it's definitely the pressure switch that's bad here. So I think uh, my handy dandy Harbor Freight right angle screwdriver will probably be a lot easier to use on getting those screws out. Yeah, okay, as it started to loosen the screws, of course it's going to spew some water so make sure you have the water turned off and be ready for that okay so the uh, right angle screwdriver works but actually I found the stubby here to be a little easier by the way I'm using a number one small Phillips bit Again, make sure the water is off and drain out as much water from your system as you can. You might even want to, if there's a valve, to uh, turn off the water, the inlet side from the fresh tank. You might want to do that just to uh, prevent any gravity type flow. Okay, here's the, the unit that we just took off. This is the outside. You can see the adjustment there in the middle. This is the diaphragm that goes against the internals of the pump that sense the flow, the pressure. Um, you notice there's some gunk on there that will clean off. And here you can see, hopefully, those two contacts for the switch. Now, this comes apart. Okay, I found if I took a put a screwdriver in here and just twist it a little, I can separate the pieces. So you'll want to remember the position everything goes in. 
that goes like that and here you can see this is the micro switch so I'm going to pry that out of there and then we'll uh, hopefully replace it with another one okay so again I just kind of popped my screwdriver in this area I was able to just pop the switch right out and that's what it looks like these are pretty standard used in all kinds of applications so this is a Omron Let's see here. pretty sure it should be an Omron made in Argentina oh Indonesia sorry and it's a V15 2 C as in Charlie 2 6 K and if you go to Armron's website you can find out what all of those bits and pieces mean So here are the two, two, well, the one on the bottom is the one I just took out. And the one on top here is one I got off Amazon. It was two of them for $9.99, next day delivery. Now the listing for this didn't say that it was an Omron. But it does have that on the case. I mean, I suppose it's always possible it's a uh, counterfeit, but it looks pretty much the same as the other one. So we're going to pop that in and give it Okay, so here are all the pieces to the switch assembly. Here's the new micro switch that's going to go right into this cavity like that. You can see both contacts there. And this little guy goes there spring and then on the other half this piece goes like that and then just line these up and they should snap together and there you go this piece goes here but it doesn't stay on there so I think it might just have to carefully position when you put it back into the pump or it might be easier to put it into the pump itself I'll have to take a look at that something is not quite right because when I press this oh, there it goes you want to make sure you get the click okay I think we're good okay so it, I did find it a little easier to attach the uh, rubber piece the white rubber piece there into the uh, opening it's still dripping a little so you only have maybe 10 to 15 seconds before it's gonna fall off There we go. So by the time it starts to fall again, I should be able to get the assembly back in place. So take note that when putting this back together, there are two sh two short screws and one longer screw. The longer screw goes the one I've just put in over here. And you don't want to just put tight put one screw in and tighten it up all the way. Leave it a little bit loose like that. You want to probably tighten um, after all three have been started and ready to compress because the spring is pushing against that button and you want to kind of tighten it evenly. Okay, so like I said, I've got the first screw in partially, just snug, not even really tight. 
I'll get these other two started. I mean, it's not a difficult job, but it is in a tight area and does require a little bit of patience and dexterity, but pretty straightforward and easy to do otherwise. So I'm just going to stop there, get this other one ready, and I'll tighten all three a little at a time. And while you're doing this too, you need to make sure that little white diaphragm stays in place. Okay, that one's tight. That one's tight. Just a, you know, finger tight, these are screws into plastic so you don't want to overdo it. Okay. Now before I do anything else, I'm going to turn the water on and make sure it doesn't leak. Okay, so the water is on. Everything seems good. Next, we can hook up the wiring. Let's see, we gotta find the. Okay, I finally get those on. It's a little tricky when you can't see what you're doing. It might actually make sense to hook the wires up before you screw the switch back in place. Okay, so let's fire up, see what happens. Yep, sounds good. So just a couple other observations here. The um, the second of the two switches that I bought is on the top here. And the old one is above my thumb. Um, notice on the tab here, you can see it's slightly discolored. It's probably from heating. When the Every time the switch open or closes, it arcs. The other thing I noticed is on the new, let's see, the new switch, On the new switch, when I press the, the switch button, you feel a nice firm push, and it makes a nice click. On the old switch, you can definitely hear it's weaker, and it doesn't take anywhere near as much pressure to push it. So, obviously, the switch is just basically worn out. Well, anyway, that does it. Um, quick, not quick, but cost-effective repair if you lose uh, the switch on your 4048 pump. I believe this is works with other sure flow pumps, although I, but um, in any case, uh, hope this helps.